You're watching the Weather Channel. Live by it. Straight ahead on Weather Center, southern snow is falling and the city of Atlanta is slowing to a crawl. Several businesses closed early today and are opening late tomorrow in anticipation of more snow. In just a minute, we'll tell you how much more snow is on the way and where it is going next. Good afternoon from Atlanta's Hartsfield International Airport. Delays, de-icing underway, and more problems ahead for the southeast. I'm Mike Seidel. We'll have uh, more coming up in just a moment. Mike looks cold. He needs a hat. Mm -hmm. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Morrow. Hello, I'm Vivian Brown. Now, we have been talking about the very heavy snow across parts of the southeast. It's all relative. We say heavy because typically we don't see snow over the deep south. Our very own Mike Seidel, who is used to the snow. You know, Mike, just a couple of weeks ago, you were in Buffalo, and you had very heavy snow there. But it's all relative, huh? That's right, Vivian, uh, leaving uh, Buffalo and western New York on Sunday and Monday, or actually Monday, with uh, seven feet left behind, and we come back to a couple of inches, and it is a big deal here because we don't get a lot of it. The average winter snowfall in Atlanta is only two inches, and many winters we don't get any snow at all, so this is a big deal. And the big deal is going to be after it gets dark around 6 o'clock as streets that are not treated, which is a lot of streets around here, will be starting to ice up, especially the elevated surfaces and those hills on the north side of town. So again, uh, the rush hour tomorrow morning is not going to be very, uh, very kind to us, but fortunately, most schools are still closed. Let me show you the runway here at Hartsfield International, the busiest airport in the world, and I just talked with airport operations, and some promising news is the runway temperatures are now running 35 to 36 degrees, and the subsurface temperature is up in the low 40s, so that's very promising news. There's no problems on the runways. They're just wet. However, de-icing. There are only six pieces of de-icing equipment here at Atlanta's Hartsfield, so you got to wait your turn, and there are many planes waiting in line. They're getting out of the gate on time, but then you have to wait to get de-iced, and there are arrival delays, too. There have been almost 200 cancellations so far, so check with your air carrier. We have this light snow continuing throughout this evening and overnight, so that it's not going to get any better. It will likely get worse, and certainly for the uh, area, as far as traveling, it's going to be uh, very icy uh, after it gets dark tonight. Vivian? Okay, thank you very much, Mike, for braving the snowstorm for us over the southeast. With Mike Seidel reporting live from Atlanta at Hartsville International. Let's check out our regional winter weather radar over the southeast because, yeah, we still have reports of snow at Hartsville in Atlanta. You can see from northern Georgia into the Carolinas. Actually, that snow is spreading all the way to the coast of the Carolinas. If you can believe that, I know that's a very peculiar sight to see snow on the beaches, but that's definitely where we're having. You can see the white, that's indicating the snow. Now the pink is indicating a mixture of rain and snow, even reports of ice pellets and sleet in some cases like in Macon, Georgia. But you can see from Atlanta over to Greenville and Spartanburg, Columbia, South Carolina, it's all snow. We've had reports of some light snow at times, but nonetheless, we have flurries here over the deep south, and that is a big deal. And we're starting to get some wet weather right along the coast of South Carolina, uh, mainly in the form of rain here as you head south of Charleston toward the Savannah River and extreme south Georgia problems. Some areas in South Carolina could see up to four inches of snow as the system moves through the Carolinas. So big winter storm over the southeast. Let's turn to our winter weather expert for more on the storm, Chris Paul Coastal. Well, the storm system is now redeveloping off the southeast United States coast, and there's going to be a host of weather problems across a very